Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a writer, artist, journaler, journal maker and teacher of journaling courses. And in this video I'm continuing this art therapy podcast style series and I'm going to share some things that we learned in our well-being orientation session and some practical exercises that you can try and I'll walk you through those. Um, there's one in particular called the smile exercise that really really helped me um, and so I really help, hope it helps you or the smile practice it's called um, but yeah first let me walk you through what we were learning and anything that stood out to me and just grab your washing or your ironing or your crafting and um, put this on in the background and let this hopefully fill your soul <laughs> um, so the first thing that I wrote down in my notes here. Oh, I'm just going to loop this in the background. So just me rewriting my study notes. Um, the first thing was action leads to motivation. So often people think it's the other way around. Motivation leads to action. But don't wait for motivation. Act and then the motivation will come. So we find this all the time, right? That, that The five minute rule. Just set your alarm for five minutes and start this whatever you need to do and then you find that you can go longer than the five minutes often it's the starting that's the hardest um, but once you start you find oh now you have the motivation you can sit there and you can keep on going and do whatever it is that you needed to do um, and then if you keep doing that regularly if you act first you don't wait for the motivation but you act first it will become a habit and so that way you don't need to rely on motivation to do things because the habit will get you there um, so just keep doing it act 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 put that into practice act first and then let that, let that become a habit and so that you can automatically just get things done because now it's a habit and motivation will follow the action sort of like inspiration too don't wait for inspiration is something people say too sometimes um, where if you just start for example if you're a writer just start writing let it flow and then eventually the inspiration will come because you've you're in the act of writing already instead of like i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm not going to write until i get inspiration you could be waiting forever <laughs> but it's just that act of putting the pen to the page and words coming out that you're like oh okay now something's coming out that it might take three pages of morning pages if you've read that book the artist's way um it might take three pages before you, you anything comes out um, you know that kind of thing anyway so <laughs> another thing how do you act as well like you might like act well I need something to just make me act in the first place so something that they said was connect connect to your why like if there's something that you need to do connect to the why of why you need to do it the purpose or the calling or even just the values why you value it and therefore that's why you need to do it and that's, that takes me over. So this kind of connects with something that I say. It came up in one of the lives one time, or in the question and answer sec section. I'm not sure what the question was. But we were talking about doing things that you want to do and doing things that you don't want to do. And I kind of hit on this point that I don't tend to do things I don't want to do because I, I'm always in connection with my why. I always know the purpose or the value of it so that therefore... Even these tedious tasks that, you know, people won't want to do, I still want to do them because I am in connection with the value or the purpose behind it. So, for example, cleaning the toilet, I can think we can all agree that's not something that necessarily all of us would want to do. So if you say, I'm cleaning the toilet, but I don't want to clean the toilet, I get that. But for me, I, I don't, in my mind, it's like, if I'm cleaning the toilet, it's because I want to. Because even though, yes, I know the task isn't great, I want usually when I clean the toilet it's because you know it's gotten to the point where it's like ooh that's disgusting and now it makes me feel uncomfortable so that makes me want to clean it or another occasion another example would be like okay I'm house sitting for someone and now they're retur returning and I want to make sure the house is nice and clean for them so I'll clean the toilet for them again it's not I just don't necessarily like want to do that task but yes, I do want to do that task because I want to make the house presentable for them. I want to give them a nice clean house. And so yes, I do want to clean that toilet. Does that make sense? So or every action I do, I'm, I'm doing it because I want to do it because I'm in connection 
to the bigger reason behind it, to the why, to the purpose behind it. So yeah, I might not want to clean my room, but my space feels uncomfortable when it's dirty or messy. So yes, I want to clean my room <laughs> because I know it will make me feel better and it's making me feel agitated when it's messy, for example. So everything, I like people say I don't want to do homework. I do want to do homework because if I don't do it, I'm stressed. <laughs> so yes, I do want to do my homework because I know that the stress will go away once it's, once I'm doing it. Um, and okay, yes, maybe I don't want to do it because it's hard work and I'd rather do something else. But no, I do want to do it because I'm going to learn something from it. So as soon as you get in connection with that why, you realize, for me anyway, I can go through my entire life doing things that I want to do because I'm now in connection with the bigger reason behind it. Does that make sense? And it's just a shift in perspective, I guess, a simple shift in perspective. And that's why I guess, um, yeah, I don't really see, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm gonna, uh, of course we all complain every now and then, um, but I don't see necessarily like a point in complaining because once you're in connection with the bigger reason, the bigger purpose behind it, there's no point. Like. You don't need to complain about homework. You don't need to complain about cleaning the toilet. You don't need to complain about having to clean your messy room because you want to do it. You don't complain about things you want to do. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe that, that's a way to take away any complaints once you get in connection to that greater purpose. Um, so, yeah, I hope that... Um, is helpful and that kind of explains and put in, puts into word yeah the way I go about life I can kind of say yeah I'm always doing what I want to do because and never doing things I don't want to do because I'm in connection with that greater purpose behind it and I, yeah I hope that makes sense and I'm not sure if that's something that you can train yourself to do because yeah, for me, it's just been a natural thing that I've always had my whole life, ever since I was a kid. Like, that's just been a way I've seen the world um, and seen things. So I hope it's something you can train yourself to do, though, because that would be very helpful. Um, and that way you wouldn't be going through life being like, oh, I don't want to do this. I'm forced to do something I don't want to do. It's like, no, nope. change that. Change that in your mind. See it in a different way. You do want to do that because of this, this, and this, because of that reason, whatever it is for you. And therefore life doesn't become something to complain about for all these things that you're, you're having to do but you don't want to do because now it's like yes no I do want to do that because I want to make the house clean because it's going to make me feel better because it's going to make that other person feel better and because that thing doing that study is going to um help me learn something and you know <laughs> and then it becomes really really good so <laughs> that was just one thing that um really stuck out to me and what I might do, actually, I didn't realise that whole section of this um, podcast would be about, it would take that long, but um, I just realised that's sort of an, an important concept to think about and let breathe and make space for in your life, in our lives. So I might just um, leave this as one concept for this episode and we'll maybe label it or title it motivation. So, because I hope that this can be a good resource, you know, so you can search and be like, okay, I needed some tips on motivation. And then you can just click on this and be like, okay, here, I need to listen to this one again or send it to a friend or something. Um, and I don't know if that, <laughs> that's kind of my vision for it. I don't know if it will turn out into that kind of thing. But yeah, I wanted this to be as helpful for people as possible so that's easy to find different topics that may help. Um, yeah, I know my, my channel is taking a completely different turn, um, but hopefully it's not too completely different because a lot of the time in the lives we have psychology hour where people ask psychology, psychology questions and I'll just chat about stories from my own life and perspectives and things I'm learning about psychology that help me in my life and a lot of the time people will say yeah that's really helpful and oh okay I see it differently now or you know that kind of stuff so um, I'm hoping this is um, enjoyable and helpful encouraging and something exciting to listen to <laughs> Um, so I'll leave this one here now and we'll title this one Motivation and I'll come back in the next video and I'm going to share about these well-being practices and especially the smile practice, which I, I'm really, really excited to share this one with you. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in that video.
Bye. A big special thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in January. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me. I can't do this without you. So thank you. Thank you so much. If you would like to become a patron in February, uh, the link will be below in the description box to my Patreon. And that's where you get access to extra videos and behind the scenes looks, personal updates, printables, the Ruby tier and higher. You get every single digital kit from my Etsy as well. And may you all journal your lives because your story matters.